you go right now and search for color, unicorn coloring books, coloring pages, you will find thousands. But then you will see that the ones that sell are the ones that offer less for the same price. You can find for $5, somebody selling you 100 pages of coloring pages. And then you can find somebody that gives you five coloring pages for the same $5. And then you look at the sales, the one with a five is selling more. Why? Because, because when somebody is going, it's like the daughter is like, mom, I want a coloring page for a unicorn. Mom goes to Etsy. Oh, I found it. I don't need a hundred. I don't know what to do with a hundred. I usually need this one because now with the five, you're showing them which five you have inside. So, oh, this one is very nice. I'm going to buy those five. They download it and they go and give it to the daughter. You can create 20 different listings, 40, 50 different listings with those 100 designs. And if you just improve them a little bit, make them a better coloring page, give them a, be a better perception value and sell them for that. Etsy is not all about volume. You know, you go to eBay and it's like, I give you 100, I'll give you five. In eBay, people will go and snatch the 100. Just because they can say, I got a great bargain. I got 100. And exactly. Etsy is about, I got what I needed, you know? And I got exactly what I wanted. That's five is perfect. There's people selling sometimes only one coloring page mm -hmm. for $3. And they sell them for $3. Why? Because people saw the image. It's like, this is what my daughter wants. This is what I want. It's I'm guilty. Perfect. That's me, right? And I love that because that's understanding your customer, which is how you make money in a marketplace. I don't care if you're selling print-on-demand coloring pages or Louis Vuitton bags. If you understand your customer, what they want, what they expect, what they need, you can make money doing these things. And I love you know that comparison there too, because that's me. I literally paid $6 for a chart, one piece of a downloadable paper that I could print. And it was this chart that I needed um, specifically for um, a school project that my daughter was doing. And I was like, I didn't found it. I Googled it, found it on Etsy, was able to print it in less than five minutes and like $6 for one. And I saw the same thing you saw. It's like, oh, get, get 10 charts, get this, get that. And I'm like, I just need one. I don't need 10 charts. Why would no. I pay even $5 to buy 10 when I only need one? And this is also what I talk about with reverse bundling too on Amazon even, is that, you know, you'll go to a place like Costco and I love Costco. I have a family of five. We're a big family. We eat, you know, whatever. But my mom, mom is never going to go to Costco because she's a single person living by herself and to buy stuff in bulk at Costco is nothing but she likes Costco brand she likes some stuff so it's like reverse Costco it's you take the big sets and you break them up into singles because some people don't need 16 cans of tuna they only want two you know and so they want the, the brand so the same type of thing is that figuring out your customers and just because something has more units doesn't mean it's more valuable sometimes people don't want five of something they only want the one so i love that etsy gives you an opportunity to be able to create those things and with digital files it's no overhead you're not storing anything you're not you don't have space over here 